Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 5 in PySpark real-time scenarios playlist. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can save print schema output as a string or JSON in PySpark. So if you have seen my PySpark playlist, you know what is print schema, right? If you have a data frame and if you want to know the schema of the data frame, that means what columns we have and each column what is the data type. So that information can be fetched using this print schema function. And when you use this function, it will actually print the output onto the console, onto the output window. It won't give you back to store into some variable as string or JSON actually. So what if, if there is a need where you want to store this print schema output as a uh, string or JSON values into some variable. So that's what we are going to discuss in this video. So when I practically show you that you will make sense of it. Let me go to Databricks workspace and here let's try to create a new notebook. Let me name it like print schema to variable notebook. Okay, so this is the notebook name I am giving and let me hit create button to create this notebook here. Notebook got created successful. Let me close this and here let's try to write our code data equals to so please watch my videos in PySpark playlist actually so why because that way you will get an idea of all the functions and functionalities because this playlist is only for real time scenarios my PySpark playlist has all the concepts covered there okay so I am adding a list with two tuple items just to create a dummy data frame here let me create a schema variable maybe like id then second column name is name then third column name is gender. Now spark keyword will give you spark session object on top of which we have create data frame function to which I can pass my data and schema list to create a data frame and that data frame I am storing back into a variable called data frame. Now if I use data frame dot print schema function and when I hit shift enter to execute this code it will actually print the schema onto this console. It won't give me back actually. So how to take this into some variable as a string or maybe as a JSON data. So that's what we are going to discuss. So now on top of data frame, there is something called schema attribute or schema instance that has few functions that will help you to take the data into either string or into either JSON. So when I say control after dot, when I say control space, I will get an intelligence. And here there is something called simple string function that can be used to read this entire uh, schema as a string actually. So let's try to store this into a variable called a and then let's try to print this variable a now. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code. You can see now the variable a contains this information as a string format. So that way you can take this data as a as as a string into some variable. Okay. So not only that, so the on top of the same data frame, we have that schema instance as I said, and there is a function called JSON that will give you all the schema in JSON format string. So let me save this into a variable called B, and then finally here let me try to use print function to print this B value. Now if the command executes successfully you can clearly see it is printing all my schema okay so if i go back to my presentation you can see the same thing schema function or schema instance on top of which i can use this simple string or json functions to take this print schema output that means schema of the data frame as a string okay so not only that there is something called json value function also so if i take this json value function if i hit shift enter you will see a little difference see here all the fields along with the data types and everything came here so that way the entire output of the print schema we can store it into a variable so you may be wondering can't we do like this after print schema we can store it into variable called a b c d maybe like this and then if I try to print ABCD what will happen it won't print nothing actually it will contain none empty actually why because this function will never return back some data it will simply print the output onto the console so when I run this you will practically make sense of it so let me hit shift enter now if you see print ABCD given a value as none that means nothing got stored into this variable so we have to rely on this schema instance on top of data frame 
on which we have a couple of functions that will get data into either string format or into either JSON format. So I hope you got an idea like how to take the print schema output into variable. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.